Hello everyone, it's Shinto Bean here playing some more Warhammer combat cards and this weekend we have a small scale exploration event where we have all cards set to max level, 225 deck points available, and the Aura of Rage which increases the melee attack of all deployed cards by plus 5 at the beginning of each turn. It is a pretty fun modifier. So I will be playing a match here, it's Eldari versus Orcs, uh, but before we get to that just, let's just take a look at the shop. We do have a new card here available if you are willing to spend the money and it is a new legendary Eldari bodyguard Baharoth of the Phoenix Lord of the Swooping Hawks. Pretty cool looking model and uh, interesting distribution of stats. He's got outflank for his trait. Uh, not an, the most amazing card, certainly not essential. And um, the thing though about these these bundles is it sort of highlights one of the major issues of the game which is leveling up your cards it's very difficult, especially for these newer cards. And especially with the new uh, changes coming to, you know, these max level cards gaining additional traits and all that. Uh, this is, I mean, even if you buy all three of these bundles, which is a total of maybe like 170 US dollars, you're only getting 10 copies, which is enough to level it up to, I believe, level 3. Like, that's only about a quarter of the way to max level. And that's, you know, spending all that money. And also, like, legendary cards are actually the easiest cards to get to max level. Or they, at least they have been up until now. Um, I think previously you could actually get legendary cards in the shop, which made it even easier to, to level them up, even though they were quite expensive. But unfortunately now they no longer show up at all, so it's just harder to get them in general. So we'll see if they make any changes to that. I know they are working on some additional changes that they haven't announced yet, so... Uh, we'll see uh, what happens in that regard. Now back to the campaign. Let's go ahead and play a battle here. We are using the new and improved Rakarth at max level. So th this is a an event where everyone is able to use max level cards. So you know once they come out with these dual trait cards and stuff for epics and legendaries, uh, this will be a way for newer players to to try those out. So you know in in this deck, I only have three epic cards. So those would be the ones with dual traits. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm just using a keyword deck, all Drukhari. Uh, it's not really the strongest deck, but we'll see how it does. I'll go ahead and deploy and see which of the Orc Warlords we're up against. Alright, we are up against Boss Zagstruck, and I think this is actually the first time I've faced him in this campaign so far. Ooh, they're starting out with Ed Zappa on the field. He actually combos really well with Zagstruck, so I definitely want to take him down early. Uh, but the starting hand is not that amazing. I kind of want to save a lot of those cards for later. We'll go ahead and deploy the Archon with Inspiring Presence. And we're getting outflanked. So it's not good. So they're going to be getting a lot of free attacks in. I guess we'll drop uh, this guy over here. Uh, not actually a guy. Lady. And, ooh, they've got uh, another Psyker. The Warboy who is a Berserker with all three attack types. At max level, that is actually pretty scary. Um, yeah, this is actually going to be quite difficult, I think. Uh, we'll try and put down... I don't know if we just want to go for some healing here. Well, whatever, we'll put down the, the Pain Engine. Looks like they have six bodyguards total to get through, but yeah, with... Boss Zagstruck, obviously, uh, when they go for the Psychic Attacks, their melee cards can also attack, so they're just going to be dealing lots of free damage. Drukhari, of course, have no psychers, so this is like the ultimate counter to what I have on the field. You can see there the Aura of Rage goes off, giving everything a plus 5 melee. So we'll go ahead and start chopping up these orcs. Fortunately able to take down Ed Zappa on the first turn thanks to that Furious Charge. We are taking a lot of damage, though, in return. 16 damage at the end of each turn from the poison. And they've got an, a berserker of their own on the field, Gorzag Gitstampa. They are going for the melee attack, interesting. Okay, obviously would have been a lot better had they gone for the uh, psychic. But the AI is not very smart, so. Now we're getting plus 7 health to all of our units every time uh, something dies. And did they just deploy another warbiker? I guess they have two of the same card in this deck. That's interesting. Uh, I think we'll go for some healing here. I don't think that pain engine is going to be surviving much longer. Hopefully he can survive one attack from the Warbiker, but wow. 
scrap jet there. That is the final bodyguard. Let's see, so, yeah, the longer your units survive, or stay on the field, obviously, the more damage they will accumulate, or the more melee attack they will accumulate over time, so... Uh, it is helpful if you're able to keep those guys alive, but, um... Uh, I don't think we're gonna survive this next turn, so we're just gonna go... Melee here. Perhaps not the smartest choice, but... Uh, I still have four bodyguards left, so I'm not too worried. And it looks like they probably will clear most, if not all, the field with this big melee attack. Actually, the Parasite Engine will survive because of the increased health, so... And we poison the Warbiker, so he will go down eventually. Alright, we got two Berserkers. The Clawed Fiend is the weaker one because it only has a melee attack. Uh, let's see, well, they have a Berserker over there that we need to take care of as well. Aha! Drazar. Drazar is actually pretty good at max level. I mean, he does so much damage. He'll easily be able to take down that scrap jet. And oh, we've got fear too with the increased health. But I think we'll throw down the grotesque. And we will go for the melee attack, of course. Alright, the parasite engine will go down, but that's okay. We'll just throw, I think, the... Actually, I can't remember. Does fear prevent or reduce the damage before Zagstra gets to use his uh, free attack. I guess we won't find out because he uses it right now. I can't remember if he uses that before getting hit by the fear. But let's see, how big is this guy? He's going to get plus 5, so 95. That's enough to actually kill the Grotesque. That is too bad. Well, we can put him across from Zagstra, though, so I think we'll go for that. Throw down this uh, Incubi. Ooh, they're going ranged. Okay, Zagstra gets the free attack there then. But the Grotesque survives. Alright, and obviously we got the game in the bag pretty easily. Just go for a melee. Can't finish off Zagstra just yet. I think he will get one more kill in next turn. Uh, or this turn, I guess, with the counterattack. Well, I do want to see Ricarth, though, so we'll go ahead and deploy him. He's got enough health that he's just fine. And they get their one final free attack in with the Psychic. 95 damage is quite a bit. Let's see, how, how big is Drazar now? 102? Yeah. Yeah, some of these battles are pretty tough. That's the thing about these explorations. Like, they start off, actually, um, like, compared to regular campaigns, the, the very first level is actually quite a bit more challenging. But it does get more difficult over time. I don't know if I'll play through the entire one, because the rewards are not particularly amazing. But it is fun to go with a thematic deck like that. Use all Drukhari. Um, typically, they're not really that good, but when everything's at max level, uh, you can have some fun with that stuff, so... Yeah, that's it for this one. Let me know if you have any comments as usual. But thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.